Okay, let's talk about Grixis. And it's gonna, we're gonna show off this deck. We're gonna show you how the cards in it. Um, and then we're gonna see if we can win some games with it. Go, go qualify it for the end of season quest for the best. And here is the Fatal Pushes and Magma Sprays. I think this is a fine uh, mix. Then we go into some small creatures like Thing in the Ice and Jace. As you see, you can't really play Grixis without being a Dark Intimations deck, and it's a lot easier to get a creature into the graveyard than a Planeswalker. So making the most of Dark Intimations, it really does benefit from these smaller guys. But I also want to be a bit of a Drago-ish deck, so I've got Pull from Tomorrow, I've got Sensor, Harness Lightning, Spell Shrivel, here's Unlicensed Disintegration, a lot of interaction. Here's our Sweeper and Radiant Flames, which goes great with Kalitaz, the Trader of Get, one of our finishers, Liliana the Last Hope. Then we have the Glimmer of Genius package to go with the pulls from tomorrow. Dark Intimations is a big card advantage machine. A Jason Raveler and a Liliana Death's Majesty. In Grixis, I don't have a lot of life gain options, so I'm choosing this right now over Ob because we have some cards to get back, like Gear Hulk that can be really good, like Jace, like Thing in the Ice, like Kalitas. And this one doesn't make me pay life to use it. If we need Ob for the removal, I feel like we're doing something wrong because our deck is mostly removal. Uh, Flame Caller as a finisher up on the top end to go with Gear Hulk. I really like this tag team. They've been doing it in my Is It Control. But if you're going to add black, I think the reason to add black right now is to Dark Intimations and Fatal Push. I think those are the big draws to black. So that's what we're specializing in. Never. Uh, I'm not that huge on this card. It's... It, it's so long overdue, and people uh, like destroying Planeswalkers, but I don't play against Super Friends very often anymore. I know we have Scars. We have Scars from years of abuse by Mythic Planeswalkers, and there's always the chance of that turn for Gideon. But there's a chance that these really, for the deck, should be more Spell Shrivels or Unlicensed Disintegration or a Split uh, in that realm for the instant speed interaction, because Sorcery Speed interaction is often too slow the way that this works out but anyway that's where i'm leaving it for right now also the double cost is a real cost mana wise i'm trying to max out on fixing so we only have seven basics we have all the grixis dual lands we have three hubs and four wilds so really maxing out on that fixing another idea that i have is if we're going to run three hubs for energy maybe what the nevers should be is dynavolt tower because dynavolt tower can make all your spells power the hubs and keep your mana silky smooth so that's another thing i have in my mind for what this deck maybe should be and i guess the only way to find out if it should be that way is to play some more games uh, it's tough because so far i've just smashed most things i've played against and it's hard to tell what the changes should be so maybe we'll learn some stuff today, but that's a, those are the kind of things I'm going to keep in mind. And let's go hit that ladder and do that battling. This is my list. I didn't take it from anybody. Uh, you don't feel the lack of artifacts to turn on your unlicensed disintegrations. Uh, honestly, the unlicensed disintegration could be murder, but it's easier to cast unlicensed disintegration in a Grixis deck for the same cost. So I don't really care if it's ever turned on. I, I don't expect to ever turn it on. I just want three mana destroy something of any size. So that's the talk behind there. I think some people get hung up that they have to play artifacts to get the most out of the card. You can just play it as murder. It's, sometimes that's exactly what you want it to be. Our first challenger has arrived. And it is uh, Jace's homeless uncle in the wasteland. Now that we have a real Jace avatar. But it is a 35 anti-beasting who I'm sure I've played before. Absolutely certain. So maybe we're in for a fight. Let's get some hands with lands. This is, this'll do. And we are off to the races, baby. 
the bow mat in the hizzle. Now, let's see what we draw, but I am not the type to turn one fatal push a bow mat. It's not a card that scares me. All right, we don't, we have single red, we don't have double blue, which is something we're going to need. If I go get blue, I can't have red next turn, which might be a problem. I think I'll just put this out and wait. We'll see what the opponent does. If it looks like I need red next turn, we'll go get the red. If it looks like we need, we don't, we'll get the blue. <laughs> uh pause no problem Ta-da! <laughs> you guys are uh you guys are scaring me down there though in chat people are talking about just how i will lose it if things don't go my way referring to my tournament match last night which when you watch this you may or may not have caught it's hard to play a deck full of counter spells when the chat is um, not the chat, when the, what's the word I'm looking for? When the timer is not pausing. All right, that's fine. You getting pushed. That is definitely a card I'm happy to push. It also doesn't make a lot of sense to wait for him to discard something because oftentimes that's what they want. All right, he's got three cards under that thing. So next turn is the turn where it turns the corner, I suppose. So let's shove you out a window. Let's cycle you. I guess I could have cycled first to see if I hit a Radiant Flames, but I wouldn't be sad if that were the case anyway. Go. Let's see what our opponent does here. And they got five in hand. Three underneath. So let him trigger it. And then we'll go for the harnessed approach. Right? Yeah. Save two energy. Seems good. One's good. Away with your cards. Did not choose to pitch the hand. And Chandra. Well... Hope springs eternal. Our opponent is hoping that the Grixis deck just won't kill it, but it is the Grixis deck. And we'll do that right now to avoid any chip shots from the Pyromancer. So Red, what else have you got? A Goblin Glory Chaser. Classic. Okay. So, a question of whether to glimmer now or later. I think that holding up mana is intimidating, and our opponent is likely competent based on rank and card selection. Therefore, they're less likely to play into five open mana and expect it to work. But glimmering now could find us a removal spell. However, I'm just gonna sit on this. I know we have some tournament competitors popping into chat if you want to report your um, status, whether you have a game scheduled coming up or whether your game's over and talk about that. That's always welcome conversation. You should probably warn people if they fear spoilers if you're going to talk about results. But I think anybody who wants to know probably checked out the results today before coming here. Who knows? Or they just want to know. They just want to be told. All right, he's passing turn. Let's leave black red open so we can cast magma spray or fatal push. And dark intimations. Um, seems good. It's not the best here. Let's let's be clear, but anything that provides a lot of card advantage is pretty solid. So again, I'm going to leave a black red open. Play fatal push or magma spray if I draw it.
Chard played his game. The results are on the forum. Well, I hope it went well for you. And uh, what are we getting? Madness? <laughs> that's actually pretty tight. That's pretty slick, right? Now that that's pretty cool. Right on, opponent. You did it. Let's keep that in mind. I probably should have thought about that. Oh, moving in. Here comes the big face punch. The big, big face punch. <laughs> That's awesome in its own way. I applaud. You are cool to see. Do I have enough mana? I do. So we'll play Kalitas. We'll play never, never, never run away. And those incorrigible youths will never, ever be allowed back in Kalitas's yard again. Those meddling kids need to get off my lawn. Blood mist. Okay. <laughs> Should keep that in mind. There may be hasty things afoot. All right. Have to. Can't just die to a hasty blood misted thingy. All right. What's in here? So, like that can come down and do eight. If he has call the full moon, it can come down and do twenty-two. <laughs> Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, 14. Um, okay. So that's a problem. How do we prevent such things from happening? Well, we got the return. We can just leave zombies in the way. I'm sure that's a big part of it. Liliana could come down, but there's nothing to get back right now and nothing to target. So she's not going to do a lot. And we could hold up for pull from tomorrow and just hope. I think my play is Sulphur Falls, attack with Kalitas, try to get off a very large pull from tomorrow, leave Zombie back in case of a hasty threat. There are badges for the top eight? Oh, goody, I want a badge. I like badges. It would be my first badge ever. You know. Gonna hold my breath and hope I can earn a badge this time. Badges for the top eight of the tournaments. That's freaking cool. I mean, that is legit. Holy crap. W O T F. That's what that is. <laughs> but welcome, welcome, welcome. You're gonna make one especially for me? Aw. Maybe that'll encourage me to use Reddit more than I do. To be honest, I don't. Ha like, I spend a lot of time on the other things that I do in my life, so then the time I spend on magic is, like, very much, it's very, very focused on playing. Uh, that's a problem. Very, very, it's very focused. Very, very, very focused on playing this game <laughs> and getting the videos uploaded. All right, so what's, what could I draw? I guess a harness lightning, right? Is that worth doing a pull from tomorrow for four? A fatal push? That won't... Well, I can push after the first strike. What else could I draw? Magma spray won't really do it. There was only one unlicensed in the deck. So is that worth doing for four? I think that it is, as this is the closest I'm probably going to come to losing the game. So we'll leave up a blue and a black red. Seems good. And we drew a magma spray, but that won't do the work. I'm gonna keep the evolving wilds in case I draw a fatal push. I could soak up two damage. I guess that's better than losing to shock. But the first strike means that the Magma Spray won't help. 
Yep, some some chat there. People catching that shock could be fatal. Indeed. Indeed. Tough spot. Certainly an interesting spot now that we're in. Put myself up to seven, but then I die to the cruiser, so I don't think I can take that chance. I think what I have to do is play Jace and start ticking. And try to find a spell that can kill that thing at instant speed. Okay, that's a blocker. I'll take it. It's not the worst thing that could have happened. Now, there's no way I'm going to draw a card here. So I can play the falls. Again, I want to hang on to this for a fatal push if I find it. So I was, I'm not going to crack it anyway. And yeah, I think if we sit behind this, as long as we don't get firecrafted, which could happen. Firecraft could be it, but I think that him having a creature to crew cruiser is more likely than him drawing a firecraft. Nope, there it is. That's game. Off to the races with the loss to the red deck. It's okay. You take your shots. And you take your risks. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Lost to the Blood Mist Fleet, we Fleet Wheel Cruiser combo. Um, hmm. Big mistake that game. Did I make one? Maybe the Dark Intimations was just too like, ooh, I can't wait to play this. And then I got hit by the youths. Yeah, that's fair. All right, and we got another high ranker. This is good, but let's see if we can put Grixis out of its misery early. Grixis always, to me, looks good and always underperforms. Maybe it's me. Let's try it. Grixis, I think, scrubbed out of Quest for the Best last year at about five or six games. Something low. Hmm. This is smelling like a freebie. <laughs> Our opponent will have to have a solid four. <clears throat> do. 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 This has black written all over it. What decks are qualified already? You can look at my channel feed to find them. All you have to do is scroll down into my channel feed. It's there; They are posted. And it will continue to be posted there, so you can check back on that whenever you want. Yay! Alrighty. What's the plan? I'm gonna let him flip that thing. Or I could kill it. I think we'll just kill it. He's on a very low amount of cards. Ah, uh, you don't suck. <laughs> nah, you don't suck. It's not like I've been providing that info this whole time. It's something new I'm doing. But it is so that people can get their questions answered. All right, let's see what our red-green deck wants to do next. We got a Voltaic Brawler. Yes, we do. That's fine. No worries. Your turn. Don't see any need to do anything yet. We're still at 20. Let's 
see. Oh, we lost our first game, but I'm not beating myself up for it. Probably could have won if I did something different. It seems like that game was in the edges and I did not have my edge. Collector Defiance, are you gonna wheel my hand? <laughs> nope, wheel your own hand, sure. Does not bother me. Get rid of them five drops. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> Sad, now our opponent could cast those five drops. They probably drew land, but let's find out. <laughs> There's another creature, and it, let's see. I guess I can trade the sensor for his ability to find another dork. And then I have up Shrivel after the Radiant Flames, so yeah. So make him pay one so he can't activate the recruiter. Is it better than us drawing a card? Probably, because what he would have is another creature in his hand, and we don't know uh, what we would draw. It might be an irrelevant card. And probably there goes hope for the four card hand, unfortunately. Unfortunately for our opponent, that is. Okay, I will play Liliana. Start the upticks. And uh, off the top, pass in the turn. Going up. Go ahead and play the thing in the S. There's nothing I really want to get back right now. So, we're chilling. I'd prefer to find a card draw spell or have a target for a removal spell. Evolving Wilds. Yeah, just a rough draw. Rough draw for Disturbed. What next, Kitty Sleeves? More land. Ew. This is particularly sad because he collected Defiance to weigh two five drops and then proceeded to draw... I think that's four lands in a row. Just That's a way to break hearts right there. Hmm. Five lands in a row. <laughs> Ouchie, wah. Maybe not in a row, but definitely uh, a clump. A clump of the lands. There is a rampager. Okie dokes. All right, keep that energy. Here comes the Gear Hulk. And there's the concession, and we'll accept that one. How good is Unlicensed Disintegration the deck? Well, it's a one of and it kills a creature and sometimes that's what you need done, right? Um, Spell Shrivel is useless at this stage. Yeah, but we're already in control at that stage, so it doesn't matter very much. It would take a big turn or like a big spell 
to twist the game around and spell shrivel is still fine in that situation. Oh, cool. Interesting. I like these. Thank you. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Thank you, thank you. Uh, sorry, for those of you who don't know, uh, we added a command to the channel to MTG Bot so that you can look up the quest for the best records on the channel just by hitting uh, exclamation point quest. It'll have to be updated with the win records, but yep, uh, I think that's doable. You. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's roll. At least we don't have mana problems. What could go wrong? Uh, I saw this kept in a pro tour uh, against a control opponent, and since my opponent has Jace sleeves, they're giving me a controlly vibe, but I could be wrong about that. There's a spell. Look how great unlicensed disintegration is now, when we have no other spells to play. Draw. Yep. The spray is here. Alright, so we drew two spells in a row instead of the typical stainless shuffle. Lucky us. And yeah, we're up against green control. My bad. Hey, you gotta take a read off what you get. Your signals are the avatar, the background, the name, the, num the rank, and the sleeves. Those are all the signals you get. It's not like paper magic where you sit down and you look at the person and you try to you can try to look into their eyes and their expression and read their soul. You can look at the sleeves they use, the deck box they use, the dice they use, the notepad they use, things like that. It's nothing like that. It's a it's a totally different. Oh no, oh no, we've we've been wrecked by elemental bond shenanigans before. Those are fine. <laughs> Why the heck not? Ugh. <laughs> I guess we'll play the counter game before spiking Jace here. Uh oh, no action? Hmm. Going to discard? Uh oh. All right, might be pulling me into a false sense of security. Oh, <laughs> Chandra Flamecaller. Ugh! And there was a there's a combo with that card in Elemental Bond, let me tell you. Ah, oh, sure, I'll take it. Chard would like it noted that if your opponent is streaming, you can listen to them chatting out their entire game plan if they've forgotten to mute you. Winky face. <laughs> There is that signal that occurs sometimes, but I'd say you mostly get it from me and nobody else. Most people don't even talk. All right, we've got a bristling hydra. We are off to the frickin' races. <clears throat> He's going to be attacking my Jace, I'm sure. Wow. Wowie wow wow. Land pl I need to find a land. There we go. Need to hit them land drops. Yep. <laughs> you can spend your energy. That will not save you. How do you, de okay, the question is, how do you determine which deck you use each time? Are they suggested? No, I use feelings. I, I, I decide how I feel and that's what I try to play. Okay, there's that card. What up card? 
Draw that card. All right. Well, our opponent seems to at least understand about the sensor game, so I'm going to go ahead and cycle it here. Okay, that's good. Goes with the fatal push. There might be a blossoming defense in our future. What do I do about that? That can be shriveled or I can unlicense. I could also just dark intimations, but nah. So, let's see. In case there is a blossoming defense, I'll play Thing in the Ice first. And that will just let me move a few counters. You die. No free creatures for you. Too much combo potential. Base going up. Land. Did we play a land? We did. The Evolving Wilds. So we'll take the Never. It came back to us after we bottomed it, and then it got shuffled back up. And all the mana for the big thing. And <laughs> he he has conceded on the pause. Uh, I'll hang out for just a minute, but yeah. <laughs> like, as soon as they pause, you're like, well, I know what that means. <sighs> Boo. <laughs> all right, we'll ultimate you so other Jace can come out and play. Big stuff certainly does have bad matchups with control most of the time. That's fine. That's countered. Good one, AI. All right. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, don't need you. Could work on their hand with dark intimations. I guess the glimmer is probably better. A lot better. And here we go. We have a question of what's your favorite emblems? I don't know. All of them. I just want all the emblems. I guess what comes to mind is the Tamiyo emblem, right? That comes to mind. That's a pretty fun one, right? Who doesn't love a good Tamiyo emblem? Although, I, I don't know if I've ever lost with an Obnixilis emblem. That's always a pretty good feeling. Alright, blue mana. Let's play Chandra. Your elemental bond deck stand no chance against the might of the Chandra. Will they ever print a card for destroying emblems? Probably not. I don't know why they would. I also really enjoy a uh, Nissa Vital Force emblem. Drawing cards even when I draw land. Feels pretty good. Wasn't it you who beat a guy who got Tamiyo emblem? <laughs> yes, it was me. <laughs> did that on camera. And I did it with a deck full of displacement waves. So I was bouncing all their stuff, and they were just playing it again for free. It was... it was special. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It was a special day. It was a special opponent. Everything was so special. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, guess we'll do this. This'll feel... this'll be fun. Flip the thing. Draw the cards. This card is something. Plus the other thing. Attack with these things. Reduce to one. Beware of fog, as always. All right. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three cards. So one. Um, probably fair for a two. And a three. Okay. Just deciding what to discard before the discard timer, as you are a lot more likely to make a mistake under time pressure. The AI typically doesn't play things into a Jace Emblem, so we've probably seen the, the last of their spells for the game. And it's about 4.10 in the afternoon my time, so it's almost time for me to leave for the evening, which of course means that our dueling for the day comes to, the end, to an end. Grixis with a 2-1, a loss to a red deck I probably could have found a better way to play against had I known what to expect or used all of my brain. So that loss is on me. Uh, the other two, pretty decisive wins. A four card hand, unfortunately, for one, and this bit of a mana stumble. Hopefully we will better challenge the Grixis deck next time when it goes through more of the trials in the search for the quest for the best. I'm gonna try to find some magic to put on for you when I go away, so if you wanna watch something else here on Twitch, you'll have it to do. But for now, this is me, I'm CGB, and I'm out of here.